from America. Free Bird. You may have seen him on MTV's Kamikaze. Let's have a big round of applause for Mitch Hedberg. Come on, let's hear it. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. How you guys feel? You guys feel good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I feel pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> my name is uh, my name is Mitch. I I, uh, I was living in Seattle for about two years. You know, I was I was living with a woman. She she was a good friend of mine. She treated me like a king. She she gave me this friendship card. It, it was a lot like a birthday card. You know, on the front of it said, "A friend is one of life's most beautiful gifts." And I sat a car that had all these great quotes about friendship. You know, it really touched me. It got me thinking, maybe I should quit stealing money out of her purse. Yeah? <laughs> but I, I couldn't. Because her birthday was coming up. So. <clears throat> I used to uh, steal bread out of bread delivery trucks to eat. Did you guys do that? This is how you do it. You see, the, the bread delivery truck will pull into the restaurant, and the driver would go inside to take the order. So that gives me about two minutes to go in the back of his truck and, and grab a whole bunch of bread. You know, but I had to move quick. I think the bread company was catching on, though. They were trying to capture me by delaying me. Last time I did this, I saw an extension cord going into the truck, hooked up to this very tempting toaster. But I don't see that. I buy things. Like I buy shoes because I got these feet. You see. <laughs> see, I, need, I need a new pair of shoes. I'll go to the Foot Locker. This, <coughs> this referee comes up to me. He, said, he says, how you doing? He says, pretty good. He says, what are you into, man? Baseball, football, running, soccer, basketball? What's your gig? What can we size you up with? Well, nothing really rings a bell, you know? <laughs> Sounds me up with something good for sitting on my ass. <laughs> A runner from the bread man. <laughs> I'm a hitchhiker. I hitchhike as a mode of transportation, but but when I hitchhike, I hitchhike the lazy way because I know damn well I won't get a ride, you know. <laughs> but I guess to me, a lot of horny men with bad eyesight. <laughs> I hate that joke. <laughs> so, you guys are kind of a loud fucking bunch, but that's right. <laughs> you guys are try I'm trying to like audition here, but it's fucking tough with you fucks. <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a comedian, so that means I'm on, a, I'm on the road a lot, you know. I, I have no friends because I don't know anyone. I hang up by myself a lot. I'm, I'm a loner. People say, Mitch, isn't it frustrating not having any friends? And I got to think about it. Yeah, sometimes, like, when I throw a frisbee. <laughs> I, I got a little sister. Her name is Angie, but you guys don't know her because she's not here. You know. she, she's very rebellious. My mom told me she was smoking cigarettes and drinking mass amounts of alcohol. So I said, all right. <laughs> She said, that's not funny, but you should talk to her and settle her down. I said, I don't think I'm the guy for the job. You know? <laughs> hey, Angela, I heard you were smoking and drinking. I think you're ready for narcotics. <laughs> See, I, I used to do drugs. You know? I still do, but you know, I used to, too. I, I get hungry about three times a day, which is perfect. Yeah. I was hungry last year. I was with some people. We went to a restaurant. We ordered a whole bunch of food, and we ate it. And, and we realized we had no money, so, so we had to leave without paying. The dine and dash, the chew and screw, whatever you call it. You know, we almost got away, too, but about a half hour later, the police were at my door, and they knew everything about me. See, I guess I forgot about the application I filled out. <laughs> I 
So I quit applying for jobs. I needed to eat. I used to apply for day jobs and it was very hypocritical. I would go to an interview, about halfway through the potential boss would say, Mitch, are you willing to cut your hair for the corporation? I would look around, I would see all these women working with very long hair and it made me angry. So I came up with a compromise. No. <laughs> but I wear lipstick and high heels. You guys are starting to make this kind of fun. <laughs> you know, <coughs> I had a job in Miami once, which was kind of stupid because I was living in Detroit. <laughs> Pe people in my carpool gave me a lot of shit. <laughs> I was delivering advertising circulars. There were little newspapers full of coupons. And every Tuesday, I would go pick up 2,000 papers. I, I was supposed to go to 2,000 houses or two dumpsters. <laughs> <coughs> so now I'm a comedian in some states. As a comedian, I do a lot of radio interviews. You know, I did a radio inter interview the, a month ago. The DJ's first question was, who are you? And I had to think, is this guy really deep? Or, or did I drive to the wrong station? You know? <laughs> See, a lot of people wear leather jackets. See, I don't have any leather jackets. One time I walked into this restaurant, I spotted this guy, he was, he was wearing a leather jacket. Same time he was eating a hamburger and drinking a glass of milk. I just stared at him. I had to make a comment about his complete cow dependency. <laughs> he started falling asleep, so I tipped him over. All right, this is the grand finale. <laughs> All right. I was in a bar in Wichita recently. I was standing there, and uh, this guy pushed me out of his way real quick. He was in a hurry. He said, move. I thought that was rude, so I told him to go to hell. And he looked at me kind of funny. He started walking toward me. He had a mustache, a goatee, a pair of earrings, a pair of sunglasses. His hair was in a ponytail, and he was wearing a hat. He said, hey, you got a lot of nerve. I said, hey, you got a lot of... Cranium accessories. <laughs> Let's hear it for Mitch Hedberg, come on! All right, Mitch, you even got Inspector 26, excellent. <laughs>